heartbroken mother who collapsed in anguish as doctors battled to revive her baby daughter warns other parents to learn about the signs of sepsis Charlotte Cooper, 39, from Airdrie, Scotland, is warning other parents of sepsis Charlotte and husband Andrew lost their daughter Heidi, 9 months, the sepsis ED was left brain dead after sepsis caused her to go into cardiac arrest her parents later made the devastating decision to switch off her life support be Danny Hussain and Millie Vincent for Mile Online published, 1914 British Summer Time, the 3rd of August 2019, updated, 2115 British Summer Time, the 3rd of August 2019 a mother who dropped to the floor screaming is she watched doctors try to revive her baby daughter warns other parents to learn the signs of sepsis, Charlotte Cooper, 39, from Airdrie, Scotland, had to be dragged away from the resuscitation scene by her husband as nine-month-old baby Heidi went into cardiac arrest because of sepsis, doctors managed to restart Heidi's heart before rushing her to intensive care but they were too late and she was pronounced brain dead, Charlotte and her husband Andrew later made the decision to switch off her life support, with their family gathered around them, Charlotte Cooper, 39, with daughter Heidi and Cooper nine months. Charlotte urges parents to pay attention to signs of deadly sepsis in infants. The heartbroken mother has now revealed how she held Heidi in her arms as she was pronounced dead and doesn't think she'll ever be able to have another child because of the torment she went through. Charlotte spent two years trying to get pregnant before Heidi was born on September 27, 2018. Nine months later, she took her baby daughter to Wish General Hospital with what she thought was just a viral bug. Two days later, the hospital sent Heidi home, but her mother soon realized something was wrong. Heidi in hospital before her life support was switched off, ending her life due after sepsis caused cardiac arrest leaving her brain dead. She said her daughter wouldn't stop crying after leaving the hospital, had a fever and couldn't keep her food down. Symptoms of sepsis in a baby or young child, blue, pale or blotchy skin, lips or tongue, a rash that does not fade when you roll a glass over it, the same as meningitis, difficulty breathing, you may notice grunting noises or their stomach sucking under their ribcage, breathlessness or breathing very fast a week, high-pitched cry that's not like their normal cry at responding like they normally do, or not interested in feeding or normal activities being sleepier than normal are difficult to wake they may not have all these symptoms. Source, NHS Heidi improved slightly after visiting a local health center but her fever continued to rage and so Charlotte took her back to hospital a day later, six doctors treated the baby, giving her fluids and antibiotics, and one of them told Charlotte that Heidi was septic, he added that the nine-month-old baby needed to be taken for surgery urgently, tragically Heidi's heart stopped just before they reached surgery, Charlotte said, just before we reached surgery, Heidi's heart stopped, I will never forget that moment I saw doctors giving her CPR, heartbroken, the mother crumpled to the floor screaming, no, as she watched doctors desperately trying to revive her daughter, her husband dragged her away and doctors were able to restart Heidi's heart putting her on life support, a mobile intensive care unit was also called to whisk the baby to Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Glasgow. Devastatingly their efforts were too late and Heidi was pronounced brain dead, with her family deciding to turn off her life support, Heidi with her father Andrew Cooper, Heidi's parents were told that their daughter had suffered pneumococcal septicemia which caused sepsis and meningitis symptoms of sepsis in an older child, acting confused, slurred speech or not making sense blue, pale or blotchy skin, lips or tongue a rash that does not fade when you roll a glass over it, the same as meningitis difficulty breathing, breathlessness or breathing very fast they may not have all these symptoms. Source, NHS Charlotte said, looking at Heidi and touching her cold head, listening to the sounds of the machines, I knew she was gone, Charlotte said, I held her in my arms as she was pronounced dead, it was the worst moment of our lives, a week following the death Heidi's parents Charlotte and Andrew were told by two doctors at the Wishaw, Glasgow, hospital that their daughter had suffered pneumococcal septicemia which caused sepsis and meningitis, Charlotte told the Mirror, I never believed Heidi was dangerously ill, nor did I understand that she was in a life or death situation, the couple say they, find a little things to do each day, to keep busy after the death of their daughter but that, it still feels like a hell we can't escape from, Heidi Ann Cooper, who died after suffering from sepsis, her parents have organized a GoFundMe page to raise money for sepsis research charity feat Charlotte added, Andrew would like to try again for another child, but I don't think I can, nothing can replace Heidi and I know I would be anxious at every little cough and sneeze, in an effort to prevent the same tragedy befalling others Heidi's parents are campaigning to raise money for the sepsis research charity feat, the charity teaches people to look out for the signs of sepsis, the couple have organized a charity walk and set up a GoFundMe page, what are the key symptoms of sepsis? 
silent killer that can cause death in minute asepsis, known as the silent killer, strikes when an infection such as blood poisoning sparks a violent immune response in which the body attacks its own organs, it is a potentially life-threatening condition, triggered by an infection or injury, instead of attacking the invading bug, the body turns on itself, shutting down vital organs. If caught early enough, it's easily treated with intravenous antibiotics and fluids, but these must be given as soon as sepsis is suspected, it strikes with frightening speed and for every hour of delay, a patient's chance of dying increases 8%. Sepsis is a leading cause of avoidable death killing 44,000 people each year. Thoroughly symptoms of sepsis can be easily confused with more mild conditions, meaning it can be difficult to diagnose. A high temperature, fever, chills and shivering, a fast heartbeat and rapid breathing are also indicators. A patient can rapidly deteriorate if sepsis is missed early on, so quick diagnosis and treatment is vital, yet this rarely happens. In the Early stages, sepsis can be mistaken for a chest infection, flu or upset stomach. The six signs of something potentially deadly can be identified by the acronym, sepsis, slurred speech or confusion, extreme shivering or muscle pain passing no urine and a day severe breathlessness can that's modeled or discolored. Anyone who develops any of these symptoms should seek medical help urgently, and ask doctors.